Two days later, there was a storm in the middle of the night. I was hot and I couldn't sleep. I got out of bed, went across the window and looked out at the night. Black clouds hurried across the sky and the trees moved widely in the wind. The rain made a loud noise on the window. I opened my window and put my head out into the wind and the rain. I looked at the other windows in the house. Most of them were dark, but one window had a light in it. Somebody isn't sleeping, I thought. Which room is that? There were six windows between my window and the room with the light. And there are six doors between my room and the locked door, I thought. That light is in the locked room. Somebody is in there. I put on my dressing gown and went out of my room. The house was dark and at first I couldn't see very well. I walked along the passage and turned the corner. There it was, the locked room, and there was a light under the door. I went nearer and heard noises. Somebody's moving about in the locked room, I thought. Who is it? Then the light went off and the door opened. I was afraid to move. Somebody came out of the room and into the dark passage. Lightning suddenly lit up the house and I saw who it was. It's Mr. Ross, I thought. What was he doing in that room in the middle of the night? I didn't move and he didn't see me. He locked the door of the room carefully. He didn't put the key in his pocket, but hid it in the plant pot next to the door. He's coming along here, I thought. I must get back to my room. And I ran back along the passage. Mr. Ross heard me. Who's that? He called. I didn't answer, but ran into my room and closed the door. He came along the passage and stopped outside my door. Then he walked past and went on down the stairs. I took off my dressing gown and went back to bed. I was shaking because I was afraid. Now I know how to get into the locked room, I thought. But what's in there? There was no storm in the morning, but it was still raining. I got up early and worked on the farm. There were eggs from the chickens and I put them in boxes. I helped to milk the cows and then took them out to the field. Later, I went back into the house for breakfast. Did you sleep all right last night? asked Mrs. Duncan. Or did the storm wake you up? I slept all right, I said. I didn't want to tell her about the light in the locked room or about Mr. Ross. After breakfast, I went back upstairs. Mr. Ross was talking on the phone in his office. My mother was working at her desk. I knew that Mrs. Duncan was in the kitchen and that Mr. Duncan was working in the garden. Where is Mrs. Ross? I thought. Then I looked out of the window and saw her with Tony Duncan. They were walking to the boat. He is taking her out in the boat, I thought. Perhaps she is going to Edinburgh. The boats moved away from the island 
and I waited until it was out at sea. Then I opened the door of my room. There was nobody in the passage and I ran along to the locked room. The key was still in the plant pot and I took it out. My hand was shaking. Then I unlocked the door 